Well, dramatic change may be needed to prevent an AI-fueled energy crisis. New data highlights the incredible demand for data centres and the expected surge in power use. But as science and tech correspondent Breno Halloran reports, new Aussie-made tech could tackle this urgent challenge. chip solve one of the biggest challenges of the AI era. It's a real game changer. Microcombs are tiny turbochargers able to send data at super speeds. They generate hundreds of different wavelengths on one single chip and so one of these chips can uh, replace in principle hundreds of different lasers. Professor Moss's research published this week shows microcombs can be arranged to fix data bottlenecks created by increasing internet and AI use and crucially could dramatically cut the power required at data centres. We're already running up against major, major power issues. Um, so it's not something which might happen in 20 years from now, it's happening today. AI boom has triggered a data centre explosion. Power hungry data centres store the hardware for AI and cloud computing. It is predicted 175 to 350 will be needed by 2030, requiring more than 3,000 megawatts of power. There can be some moral hazards with this. Um, if they are sucking off all that power and it's not available for the ordinary consumer, US firms are eyeing nuclear options, while visiting American analysts told Sky News Australia should position smaller data centres closer to renewable energy sites. I would like to see all data centres uh, be powered with 100% uh, clean uh, energy sources. Or perhaps get rid of them altogether. Flower AI and its Kiwi founder have developed a way to turn local networks into virtual data centres. Under its federated AI framework, contributors pool their computer power to develop and host powerful AI. As a consequence, you can have uh, multiple organisations working together to train models that are just as big, just as capable as the ones we see being produced by OpenAI and, and Microsoft and Google. A national data centre strategy is reportedly in the works and a new microcomb centre has been established. As managing AI, data centres and their increasing power demands are seen as a pressing challenge for the new government. And smart minds are already shipping in. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.